Okay, let's tackle some Mexican sunflower. Um, I went ahead and potted some Mexican sunflower. I just go ahead and, and keep them nice and moist. Each one of these were a clipping and the clipping is growing. Now these, I just put those in the ground. Those were just a clipping like that and then they start growing. We'll go over here and I'll show you some more. Same thing over here. I just stuck those in the ground and they just started growing. All I did was take out my auger. That one needs to be redone. You can't exactly have 100% growth, but I think I have about 99% growth. So here we go. This one over here has a little growth on the bottom. But you can see they're coming up. Got another one there, 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 and there. And then along that back side. Now these are the big ones here. I went ahead and already cut those down. And I'm using them for compost tea. They were as tall. They were as tall as these here, and I cut them down to the ground. Um, and as you can see, the deer, the deer come through and they, they eat some of the leaves. So I got to put some of my fencing back around them over here, and eventually I'll have it done. You can see the deer come right in here, and they start eating everything. So. I got a mulch delivery over here, so let me just show you this here real quick. Okay, so over here I got more Mexican sunflower. All these were chopped to the ground, they're coming back. Got deer that come up and nibble on the easy leaves. And then all this here is comfrey balkan. Comfrey Bakken 14 on the side of the house. And all that's going to be my compost, liquid tea fertilizer, and chop and drop. Okay, so that was a load of chips that just came in. I got it spread out, so we'll continue with this. So I go ahead and plant some Mexican sunflower. I just use my auger, go down into the ground about a foot, and stick it in. And before long, you'll have new growth. So right in here, I'm going to use this as my hedge line. You can see the new growth on it. Right down here. And then in my entrance, I got more. And I'll show you what this looks like. I try to mulch everything up. Put chips there, because the chips hold the moisture in. And the moisture is what they got to grow, grow with. So when I planted these, they had no growth on them. And they're starting to come up. Same thing over there. I did this whole this whole hedge line over here. These are every five feet. I put some. Now some are gonna grow and some are not gonna grow. But that's okay. For the ones that don't grow, all you do is you pull it out. Like that, that one there, don't look like it's going to grow. So, but that one's growing. So what you do is all you do is you pull it back out. And you just slip another one in there.
So basically I got so much Mexican sunflower, so I'll just go cut some more, strip the leaves off, use it as compost tea. And then I'll go ahead and slip some more into the holes where that root did not take. Um, but relatively a lot of them take. Over here, I put some bigger ones in the ground. Um, it looks like every one of them has got new growth on it. All it takes is that, just that little bit of new growth and then you know how good it's doing. So, anyways, I'm going back over here to continue what I was doing before I started the video. And that's basically, I'm prepping all my culvert pipes. That way no weeds grow in. So anyway, I hope you liked that little tour. Talk to y'all later.